let's talk about uh, what's expected during this brunch. This is the first time this has ever happened. It is. It's the first time it's happened in the city at all. Um, I don't think that there's been an LGBT aimed event for the city of Vicksburg at all. So we are expecting a decent turnout. Um, now with COVID, we have to restrict some certain things due to mm -hmm. mayor flags restrictions. So uh, we're going to try our best to make sure that we can match those guidelines and keep everybody as safe as possible. But overall, we just really want everybody to have a good time and understand the importance of bringing an inclusive event like this to the city. Absolutely. Now, with an event like this, uh, what are your hopes to accomplish? Like you just said a second ago, there hasn't been an aim for the LGBT community um, here in the city of Vicksburg. Well, like I said before, Marcus, we'd really like to bring more inclusive events to the city. I know growing up as a child here and not seeing that representation, it could have been, it benefited me in a, in a great way. Um, I think that our aim together would just be to bring more kind of inclusivity to the city. Just make sure that everybody feels like they have a safe place and everybody feels like we are bringing representation and appreciation to yeah. certain members of our community. That they're counting. Right, so there are four people that we see on the flyer that you guys have out. Let's talk about those people that'll, that are expected to be at the brunch. Gotcha, those are our performers. Um, three of them actually live on the coast. Um, they actually, I met them all on the Gulf Coast Association of Pride. We do the Pride events down on the, in the city of Biloxi every year. So I met them all there and they're all amazing performers and they were all chosen because of their diversity to each other and then because of the art that they do as well. Um, you know, I saw, I was talking to someone yesterday and all art is subjective and drag is art. Um, this is a way for the LGBT community to represent themselves with their art and with their performances. And this is a way for us to make sure that we can bring that to you. We're just talking about uh, what can people expect to see um, upon arrival to the drag brunch? The place that we uh, are hosting at is very beautiful for number one. Uh, it is a private venue that we selected. Uh, and we are very, you know, thrilled to be able to host it there. That's number one. They're going to be wild at the inside of the place, which has been uh, newly refurbished by the owner. And it has a little bit of history in itself. It does. It does. It's a very it's a beautiful house. And so, so once <laughs> with the COVID guidelines, let's, let's hit on that really quick. The COVID guidelines that were just reset for the city of Vicksburg. Um, and I know you guys have an event that you're planning. What are some of the things that you're having to do uh, to still make this possible, but still stick with those guidelines? Well, lots of tables and chairs. Uh, everybody will be expected to practice social distancing. Um, you know, since we're present, we'll both be monitoring to make sure those guidelines are being closely followed as recommended by the CDC. In addition to that, uh, it is a private event. So therefore the number of persons who will be allowed to attend are uh, restricted. Okay, and last question. Um, again, those who are interested in attending, is it too late for them to register to attend? Not at all, I, not at all. I have about 10 tickets left to sell completely and entirely. Um, that's without all of the possible prospects I have today. So the quicker that you guys can make reservations or give me a call, the better. Um, depending on how many tickets we sell, we may have a few to sell at the door, but I don't look very hopeful for that to be a factor.